So it's great to see you all here, especially our newcomer students. In case you didn't know that, this is the first day of the best time in your life. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. So I say, welcome, new Martis. Wam kili kili. Baie, baie welkom van die Universiteit Stellenbos. By the way, quickly put on your cell phones, hashtag welcome Martis. You will read a lot of interesting experiences from your fellow students at that hashtag. Baie welkom ook aan die trotse ouders in ons gehoor. Welcome, parents. You have reason to be proud tonight. Your children have come a long way to have this opportunity to be at Stellenbosch University today. We absolutely share your joy as parents for this evening and for this phase in their lives together. I also want to acknowledge my colleagues present, uh, fellow managers, deans, student representative councils, house committees, other student leaders and mentors. On behalf of our rector and vice chancellor, Professor Wim de Villiers, who is on his way back from the USA, welcome and his pardon that he can't be here tonight already. To all our new students, well done. You've worked hard at school to come here and you've excelled in your exams. Congratulations. You are now taking the next step towards realizing your dream. Becoming a doctor or a teacher or a lawyer or an engineer. Whatever you plan for yourselves, you can achieve it. The responsibility, however, is yours to achieve this. It's going to be a fantastic time that awaits you. So, make use of it. But make no mistake, it's not always going to be plain sailing. You will be challenged as you've never been challenged before. You will work harder than you've ever worked before if you thought matric was tough. You will go places where you've never been. You will learn things that you've never known. You will do things that you've never done. And it's all a way of becoming for you what you want to become. It's up to you. Your destiny is in your hands. This is really an exciting time to come to university. And you can now become an active learner, not a passive one. We accept you as adults. Adults learn independently. They are self-directed, self-driven, and self-motivated. What I will for you say, the greatest verschil, waarschijnlijk met die school ervaring, is dat jij aan die universiteit in vele dimensies self gaan leer. En hier gaan niemand wees wat in een lezing vir jou alles met die lepelkie voer nie. It's up to you, but I know you are going to grab this opportunity with all you have. Speaking as an educator and my colleagues, it is always wonderful to see this development of our students from first years to senior students, to postgraduates, to people who can really make a difference in society. I want to tell you one true story. Last year in December, we interestingly had three pairs of twins who graduated. And I want to tell you about one twin brothers, the Ganya brothers. They grew up in Kailicha, their mother, Sylvia, was a domestic worker, and on those wages, she raised them. These two Ganya brothers, named Wanele and Wandili, came to Stellenbosch University, and they made the best of it. Despite setbacks they had on their way here, for instance, in Matric 2009, Wanele contracted TB, 
so he couldn't attend schools. But immediately after each school day, his twin brother would rush home and inform him on what happened in school on that day. And both of them passed with excellent metrics and started their studies in medicine at Stellenbosch University. So, at the end of last year, they both graduated as doctors. It took dedication against all odds. And this year, doctors Ganya are now doing their service internship at the hospital in Guelazana in Empangeni, where they believe it's now their time to plow back into their communities and help build up this nation. It shows that it can be done. And Wandili had a message for all of us and to young people like yourselves. He says, just know that you can achieve anything you want. And his brother, Wanele, has the following message. Current one. We look forward at this new, to this new phase in our lives. We will miss home. We'll call back often. I think your parents will like that one. Hopefully your children will also call back and tell you about their positive experience and their, how they're making a difference. Dames en heren, hier is story van Wandili en Wanela Ganya illustreer een paar belangrijke punten. Een paar beginsels van universiteitswees. Die een is dat jy enige struikelblok kan oorkom met toewijding en harde werk. Die tweede een is dat jy jou drome kan verwezenlik met de visie en met de passie. En die derde een is dat die universiteit daar is om hulle te ondersteun en om julle te ondersteun. Now, Stellenbosch University has a reputation for excellence. Students come to us because they see quality. We have the highest success rate of all South African universities, in fact. 85% of our students pass the modules that they take on. That's an extremely high percentage. Not all of them graduate, but it's possible for them to graduate with this kind of success that they're achieving in an institution that values quality. There will be tough times, but remember, when you trip up, never give up. And we will be there to give you a hand, helping hand. Stellenbosch University offers one of the most comprehensive student support programs in the world, a special mentoring program for the first years. We've organized mentors in all the contexts, residences, clusters, private student organization. Each one has a mentor. So, make use of it. Stellenbosch Universiteit belee in jylle welwees. Ons het programme en mentore in plek om jylle te ondersteun. Ons raai jylle ten sterkste aan om van hierdie hulp gebruik te maak. So, get hold of your mentor. It might just save your student life. So, why do we put so much emphasis on success? And are there threats to it? Well, it's a priority to us. Because we know attending university is a precious opportunity for all of you. The nationwide protest actions that we saw last year of students went around the central notion of affordable education for everybody. Stellenbosch University supports that goal. And we pride ourselves in cultivating critical thinkers and thought leaders who help us to achieve that goal. A university is a place where ideas go around and there should be contestation, even if it makes us feel uncomfortable. We remain committed to the dialogue with our students. The students know that they can make a difference. They often lead the way and show us the future. So, let's make it quite clear. Our students have a lawful right to protest and they should do it responsibly and peacefully. Such protests should respect the rights of others. Neither academic nor administrative processes should be disrupted. We have a responsibility to protect this university, its people, its academic activities, and we're doing this as a sector 
per the instruction of the Department of Higher Education. And we will not forsake that duty of making it possible for you to achieve success, even sometimes if it is facing things that are uncomfortable. Ons erken die recht van studenten om te protesteer. Dit is een geleentheid vir hulle om ons uit ons gemakzones uit te vat en een geleentheid om met mekaar te praat oor moeilike kwesties, mekaar te vind. Maar, activisme mag nie die akademiese project ontwrig nie. Dit mag nie enig iemand skade aandoen nie. Dit mag nie eiendom wat ons nodig het om ons werk te doen op risiko plaas nie. In terms of your safety, new students on campus, just remember we're not living on an island, we're not living in a bubble. There are some risks in this town as everywhere else. So we ask you, look after yourselves as you would elsewhere. Look after your positions as you would normally. Always behave in a way that protects yourself. As a university sector, we too are vulnerable to things such as HIV AIDS, to TB, to sexually transmitted infections, to gender-based violence. These things do happen. We regret it. But we ask you, please, be careful, protect yourself, live responsibly, and still enjoy being young and being a student. And remember, university, us as management and staff, are here to care for you and to help you and to support you wherever we can. Let me dwell on another issue briefly, finances. Parents, sponsors of our students, we know that everybody, just about everybody, in this country at present is experiencing financial pressure. Therefore, we try to assist our students financially with bursaries and loans. In fact, last year, we spent more than 650 million rands that we took from our own funds or that were given us on bursaries to make sure that our students are able to study. And 2016, we'll do just the same. Support with every cent that we can put aside and that is given to us, the students, to enable them to go into a next phase of their lives and achieve something to the benefit of themselves, their children, and the communities where they live. But in terms of finding enough funds, it's also a challenge. But be assured that all kinds of discussions are being held from us and our other university managements throughout the country with the national government to make sure that the higher education system is adequately funded so that we can generate the next leaders, the next economic factors, the next social entrepreneurs that our countries need. We believe this university and the people that come to us are all assets, assets for the country who will provide a crucial service to the community, to all the peoples of South Africa. So let us work together through education to improve the lives of all. We are very, very excited about the new initiative that our Student Representative Council is taking this year. It's a campaign that they call hashtag register all. And the purpose of this campaign is that they, on their own initiative, are gathering funds so that those students who do not have enough to study, to register, to pay the first parts of their fees, are able to study. So I ask you, ladies and gentlemen, student, staff, support this project. We've set up a fund managed by the university's bursaries and loans division where you can contribute. In a small way that you contribute, you can make a big difference so that students who have the academic capacity but not the facilities, the financial facilities to study. So what I will say, dames and heren, ons het aan die universiteit groot begrip vir die financiële druk waar onder, is, onder die is. Ons probeer self jaarliks een massieve bijdrage daar te maak met beurse en lenings en ons sal volhou om die druk op die nationale regering te plaas om ook hulle bijdrage te maak. I just want to dwell on another sensitive issue. 
Another pressing matter at Stellenbosch is the so-called language issue, the policy. Some people feel that our use of Afrikaans or English may exclude people. Some feel that if they don't understand Afrikaans, they will not get the full benefit. Others feel that the English is not adequate if we teach in English. Let me allay those fears that you have right away by emphasizing that this university is committed to multilingualism without exclusion. Those two go together. The university is verbind tot meertaligheid sonder uitsluiting. Kom ek verduidelik. Towards the end of last year, our council affirmed that language may not be an obstacle for any student who does not have a command of English or a command of Afrikaans. Tal mag nooit a hindernis wees vir enige student nie, sê ons raad. So, our offering in lectures in both Afrikaans and English are continuously expanded. Ons brei voordierend ons aanbod van leesings in beide Afrikaans en Engels uit. It's not an either-or situation, but it's a case of Afrikaans and English. If you don't understand Afrikaans, you will get all the information you need in English. That's our commitment. And if you struggle with academic English, we will give support there too. We have support, just ask for help. The same goes for our administrative languages. We will use Afrikaans and English to serve you as far as possible in the language that you understand, as well as Isikrosa, as where it, wherever it's possible. The point is we, is, we don't want to have anybody excluded. And considering the diversity of our students, Looking at you, who are here, and the staff demographics, we know that diversity is a great asset to our country. It's a way of learning a lot about ourselves and bringing our difference, differences to not only understand each other, but to build a better South African society. So, let me go full circle with my talk to where I've started. Stellenbosch University strives to provide a welcoming home for all. Everyone is entitled to be treated with respect and dignity, regardless of color or belief or gender or sexual orientation or ethnicity. Discrimination and dehumanization is not tolerated. If you are wondering about initiation, as you become this were ontgroening, it's not allowed. Instead, we offer a welcoming program with an emphasis on welcome. Any conduct that is not friendly or that makes you feel undignified or unaccepted is not what we will tolerate at this university. You should not feel obliged to partake in any of the events if that makes you uncomfortable. Contact our Division of Student Affairs with your specific complaints. And we've even created an email address, easy to remember, right there. Tell us what happened. We will follow up. The email address is called unfair at sun.ac.za. You should not be treated in an undignified way. In conclusion, dear students, the experience you are embarking on is said to be deeply transformative. The university will not leave you unchanged. But neither does the university as an institution stay the same. We want to move forward. Otherwise, we will stagnate. Or even worse, we will regress. Ons verklaar immers in ons visie stelling dat ons toekomstgerig is. En een ding is seker, dit sal vol veranderinge wees. In a really true sense, you are the change of the future. As Martis, as future people who make a difference in the South African community, when you enter the job market, you will make your influence much wider than this country, in the rest of the continent and in the world. So let us move forward together. I said earlier, it's up to you. 
So make the most of this opportunity and know that you are not alone. You have fellow students on the journey and you have us as staff to support you.